All right, everybody, poll monkeypox news edition. The usual bait thread. Uh, breaking news, new unconfirmed report of a monkeypox death in Brazil occurring June 11th in a 41-year-old man from Minas Gerais. Investigate suspected monkeypox death June 13th, 2022. Brazil has three confirmed cases of the disease so far, no death recorded yet. Minas Gerais is investigating a suspected death by smallpox of monkeys in Uberlandia. The state health department was notified about the case on Saturday, 11th of June, 2022. Important research, monkeypox plus pneumonia has a 50% fatality rate bioweapons study, McGovern. Vaccinations decrease total antibody count. Monkeypox can live 16 to 90 hours in the air. All right, now coming down to the comments. New unconfirmed report of a monkeypox death in Brazil occurring June 11th at a 41-year-old man from Minas Gerais. Professor Klaus Schwab, the pandemic represents a new but narrow window of opportunity to reflect, reimagine, and reset our world. This is another act in the WEF Reset Playbook. The WEF simulated a monkeypox outbreak just last year and showed that government complacency and a failure to act early would allow uncontrollable spread, which would eventually devastate ec economies and cause lockdowns. The disease is playing out exactly as the si at the same rate of spread they predicted in the monkey op, so it stands to reason the later stages will happen as well. The spread is intended, the delay response is intended, not raising the alarm until it is too late is intended. There will be deaths, they will close off imports during a time of historic high prices, they will implement quarantines during a time of unprecedented economic disturbance. You will be hungry, you will eat the bugs, you will live in the pod. You will demand a new system because this one was broken via controlled demolition. Current monkeypox outbreak is playing out exactly as they simulated it would, pick well. Not to worry though, BBC already debunked all conspiracy theories, this is a nothing burger goys. Monkeypox wasn't created in a lab and other claims debunked by the BBC. Oh yeah, great. And here we have the chart. This is the uh, exercise that took place last year. There are already indications that the current monkeypox virus is vaccine resistant below. The first healthcare worker in the UK to contract monkeypox after caring for a patient. A UK health worker in caring for a monkeypox patient developed a skin rash 18 days later in the first case of hospital transmission of the infection outside of Africa. Contrary to the classic description of monkeypox, the rash appeared without the health worker having had a fever, headache, or muscle aches in the preceding days. She also did not have swollen glands at any time, which is considered another classic symptom of the disease. She had 32 pustules on her face, trunk, hands, and labia minora, or, or labia majora of the vulva. The one that made her suffer the most was one that grew under her thumbnail and broke the nail. The health worker had received the Imbanix smallpox vaccine six days after caring for the monkeypox patient who had just returned from Nigeria, but the vaccine did not protect her. She received the antiviral drug Rencidofovir, but it was toxic to her liver. The doctors decided to stop the treatment. What is most surprising about her case is that although the rash lasted for two weeks, she still had detectable virus DNA in her blood 30 days after the onset of symptoms and in her upper respiratory tract up to day 41. In previous cases, in outbreaks of monkeypox, patients have been considered infectious until all skin lesions have crusted over, writes researchers from the UK National Health Service. In the Lancet Infectious Journal, diseases where they present the case today, the finding that some patients continue to have detectable virus DNA when skin wounds have healed suggests that they may be contagious after symptoms end. The UK government now classifies monkeypox as an airborne, high-consequence infectious disease. Here we have a tweet from Ars Technica saying, Monkeypox is unlikely to become a pandemic, but its spread may not be contained, experts warn. Unlikely to become a pandemic, but its spread may not be contained. UK reports 194 more monkeypox cases as US total hits 49. The UK Health Secretary Agency announced today it has detected 104 additional cases of monkeypox in England, bringing the UK total to 470 cases. Anyone can get monkeypox, particularly if you've had close contact, including sexual contact with an individual with symptoms. Currently, most cases have been in men who are gay, bisexual, or have sex with men, UK Health Secretary Agency said in a statement. An unusual spread of monkeypox does not mean people should shun LGBTQ plus pride parades this summer, a World Health Organization 
organization experts said on Monday, adding that it was important to show support. Why experts say monkeypox shouldn't damp for Pride Month celebrations. Why contain it? So when does this get declared a pandemic? Literally never because it's an STI, 99% exclusively in gay men. That's what they want you to think. This is a nothing burger, definitely not a P-H-E-I-C until after monkeypox becomes endemic. Then, oops, we were wrong, gotta shut down the economy to stop the spread. People infected with monkeypox can spread the virus to others through the air when they cough, sneeze, or talk. The third confirmed case in Hawaii contracted monkeypox from a social gathering, not through any sexual contact. It spreads through the air and surfaces. Key points. People infected with monkeypox can spread the virus to others through the air when they cough, sneeze, or talk. The bodily fluids and skin sores of a person infected with monkeypox are also infectious. And the reason most cases so far have been in gay men is that this gain-of-function virus was released at a gay pride event. So when does this get declared a pandemic? Hard to say. It's only been four weeks since the Grand Canaria event, and monkeypox has already spread to 50 countries. Compare that with the spread of coronavirus which started at the Wuhan military games in October 2019 and took 14 weeks to spread to 18 countries. Even then, after 14 weeks, the WHO declared coronavirus a P-H-E-I-C. The pandemic declaration didn't come for another five weeks after that. Monkeypox seems to be spreading much faster than the COOF. No one cared who I was until I refused the mask. God is punishing the gays again. Smallpox equals monkeypox vaccine. Smallpox vaccine is an inactive virus that your immune system learns from and gives you immunity. The caveat is it's dangerous to vax everyone with smallpox vaccine because you need a working immune system for it to work. If you do not have one, then the virus inside the vaccine will become active and will spread to people around you. That's why the government explored this option in 2003 but decided not to do it. So now we have a population whose immune systems are fucked by isolation, COVID, and vaccines. Sounds like a perfect storm. Smallpox may be the worst disease ever known to man. It killed about half a billion people from 1880 to 1980 before it was eradicated. And the smallpox vaccine is deadly too. Scientists call it the most dangerous vaccine known to man. Today, smallpox is a potential weapon of mass destruction that could be wielded against the U.S. by enemies like Iraq and Al-Qaeda from December 11th of 2002. Because you need a working immune system for it to work. Excellent point, one that could be used to wake people up. Here's the context. Clinical data has still not been fully released and analyzed with respect to the greatest mass experimental vaccination program in the history of mankind, SARS-CoV-2. VAERS data has still not been fully collected, plus released, plus analyzed, SARS-CoV-2. Insufficient or non-existent post-vaccination evaluations as to overall health and robustness of immune system to general infections. Antibody titers as a response to general plus specific infections. To suggest a second mass vaccination program within a two-year time frame without the data above is fucking ludicrous, unconscionable, and criminal, which is precisely why it will wake up many people. Uh, doubt. Doubt. It being engineered to be vaccine resistant is one of the talking points of the World Economic Forum simulation last year. I can't believe a bioterrorist did this on his laptop, bros. Fuck, man, why didn't we act sooner before it was endemic? Was it because it was falsely labeled as a homosexual STI? You say, okay, what if a bioterrorist brought smallpox to 10 airports? Believing the global homo bioweapons are acts of God, you retard juice. The next epidemic could originate on the computer screen of a terrorist intent on using genetic engineering to create a synthetic version of the smallpox virus. Bill Gates. Stop fucking men in the ass. You can just not have gay sex. It's that easy. Hope you got your pitcher plant extract in Lance. I ordered three weeks ago and it finally arrived today. Hopefully it works against this vaccine resistant pox. Some dosing info. For VaxCV, a single treatment was fairly effective at preventing viral replication, but partial replication soon recovered, likely due to a breakdown or utilization of the active components within the extract. However, treating the cells with fresh Esperpuria every six hours completely abolished the replication of VaxCV, 
This correlates with how patients were treated in the past, where the treatment regime involved taking four to six doses of the extract per day. Brazil, world, Europe, the absolute state. Picrel is the regimen from 100 years ago. I will not post the source so as to protect it. Use is smallpox miles. Described the, uh, use is smallpox. Miles described the use of the rhizome of Saracenia purpurea by the Nicmac Indians as a remedy for smallpox. One ounce of the powdered rhizomes was mixed with 1.5 pints of spring water in a covered pot, and the mixture was permitted to simmer slowly for four or more hours until the volume of the liquid was reduced to one pint. The liquid was then strained. The full dose of this decoction was a full wine glass, or one grill. This dose was given once or twice daily, and not more than four doses were required as a rule in the treatment of a case of smallpox. At times, the dose was given every four to six hours. When an individual was suspected to be attacked by variola but showed no distinct pock marks, a full dose of decoction was given him. The eruption was at once brought out. After a second or third dose, with a period of four to within a period of four or six hours between doses, the pustules subsided. The patient felt better after each dose. When the patient was already covered with pock marks in an early stage, a dose or two of the decoction dissipated those spots, subdued the febrile symptoms, and made the patient feel an improvement in his condition. The urine, from being scatty and high-colored, becomes pale and abundant. In three or four days, the prominent symptoms of cons constitutional disturbance subsided. Though the patient was treated as an invalid until the ninth day, no marks of the eruption, such as pitting, were present on Indians who had been treated with this remedy while suffering from smallpox. In fact, no fatal cases of smallpox occurred among Indians who were moderately healthy when attacked by that disease and were given this remedy during the first week of the attack. For prophylaxis, a dose of a weak infusion of the rhizomes was taken occasionally throughout the day in order to keep the antidote in the blood when exposed to infection. In a further communication, Miles stated that the Indians considered the rhizomes alone to be efficacious in smallpox and considered the leaves to be worthless in the treatment of that disease. The fresh rhizomes are not considered as potent as rhizomes prepared by f as follows. The root, when freshly gathered, should be at once slowly and thoroughly dried, the thin fibers around it pared away, and the firm solid root alone used. Miles enumerated the results obtained on administration of the decoction to a patient already covered with the eruption of smallpox. A rapid diuretic action, immediate lessening of the febrile symptoms, and more tardily in action as an evacuant on the large intestine. When the patient showed any symptoms of febrile disturbance, a mitigation and obvious improvement occurred on repeated administration of the decoction doses being given at intervals of three or four hours. The character of the eruption was altered in a brief period. The pustules desiccated and fell away. Pitting was prevented. Confirmed monkey pox case on Reddit. He's posting under updates for about a week now. For anyone curious, spoiler alert, the Redditor is gay. Imagine my shark. No alert needed. We all know plebiters are gay. But I was vaccinated for smallpox in Colombia when I was a child. What happens then? The current version of monkeypox spreading in the West has over 50 mutations from the most recent African one, which had one to two normally a year. Pennsylvania, smallpox vials found at Mark Lab in suburban Philadelphia facility. A batch of vials labeled smallpox, a deadly disease eradicated since the 1970s, was found in a freezer and immediately quarantined, the Centers for Disease Control told NBC10. An investigation into why they were there is underway. Published November 17th, 2021. I strongly recommend listening to This Week in Virology from October 2010. Monkeypox portion starts at 45.43. This Week in Virology, episode 104, The Colony Collapse Blues. Pictured, first monkeypox patient to go public is a gay HR manager from London who is, 
deported from Dubai just weeks ago for testing positive for HIV, and he claims he still hasn't been contact traced. FDA approves new drug against weaponized smallpox. June 10th, 2021, the FDA has approved a new drug to treat smallpox fearful of a possible bioweapon attack. The United States has been steadily preparing a defense through BARDA, the Biomedical Advanced Research and Developmental Authority. Uh, Ticoviramat was the first drug for smallpox approved in 2018. The FDA granted the new drug Brincidofavir, or BCV, a fast-track status and orphan drug designations in, in 2018. The new approval came under the FDA's animal rule. Drug testing usually goes through several phases prior to approval. First, there is preclinical testing in test tubes and animal models. Phase one is the first in human testing, looking primarily for safety and toxicity. Phase two is where researchers look for the best dose to treat a specific condition. The drug being tested is generally given to people who are relatively healthy otherwise. 2022 monkeypox outbreak in Spain. Out of a sample of 78 cases, 21 had a previous smallpox vaccine dose. Death outside of Africa. Death was in Brazil, Africa. What did OP mean by this? Word on Schizo Telegram is that it's worse. Instead of the general lockdowns and mandates we saw during COVID, this time they will be targeting individuals and their contacts with long quarantines and ring vaccination. While general mandates and lockdowns tend to evoke widespread outrage, they know people won't take to the streets en masse if they aren't personally affected at the moment. Many who refuse to comply in the first vax offensive will fold. Ring vaccination means that anyone they say has been in contact with gay pox will be detained by specially trained teams, isolated and pressured, forced to take the vaccine. In some countries, force will be used early on, but even in jurisdictions where one is not legally ob obligated to comply, the pressure that these teams apply will be extreme. The long quarantines will add an additional incentive to give in, when the only way to avoid extended house arrest and eventual quarantine camps is to accept the jab, compliance can be achieved without general mandates, though we may see these in some jurisdictions. They intend to pick you off one at a time, starting with the least resistant. This is why they are focused on the gay community in the opening act. The gay community is overwhelmingly left-wing. Most of that this demographic will accept the vaccine without hesitation, as will the majority of those in their social circles. This will allow the enemy to work out the kinks in the system before addressing the troublemakers. Hope the, skits, hope the telegram schizos are wrong, but it sounds plausible to me. We'll find out. You will demand a new system because this one was broken via controlled demolition. CBDC complete with negative adjustable interest rates, social credit system, vaccine records, can't buy land, guns, ammo, or precious metals, geofencing, can't transact outside of a 25 mile radius from your home, must purchase 10% of your goods and services from certified minority owned businesses, targeted ads based on your purchase history and digital ID that you must watch, ability to freeze your digital wallet at any time for any reason. The health worker had received an in, in the health worker had received an Imvanix smallpox vaccine six days after caring for the monkeypox patient who had just returned from Nigeria, but the vaccine did not protect her. They say this stuff intentionally to demoralize people, like all the data of the COVID vaccines being both ineffective and dangerous, but you still have to get one or you're fired from your job and can't leave your country. <laughs> Hey Jerry, did you hear about this monkeypox virus? What's up with that monkeypox? What? What's so? It's like chickenpox, but it's from monkeys. Well, I heard you only get it from sex, so I have nothing to worry about. But it begs the question: Who was the freak who stuck his pecka in the monkey, Jerry? Can you imagine what that guy must look like, eh? I'll tell you this, if I end up with monkeypox, I'm gonna find that guy, Jerry. I'm gonna find him and I'm gonna fuck him like he fucked that monkey. Well, there we go. I hope you enjoyed all that. Monkeypox outbreak general from Poll. There's your monkeypox news for the day. 